NARBC this weekend. It's going to be an awesome show. And like always, we have quite a bit going on. Let's see, what all are we doing? We're uh, doing the passport thing behind you. Passport, scavenger yep. hunt. We Ad have adoptions. So like many that. adoptions. Um, we have a meet and greet tomorrow, yep. which is superhero themed. A superhero meet and greet. We're going to do the auction. We're we going to shop. A bunch of merch. A ton of merch. Oh gosh, we have a we lot of merch. We packed a minivan full to the point that I slammed on the brakes and nothing shifted. That's so. when you know it's full. <laughs> so the first thing we're going to do is get set up and then it's chopper time. <laughs> I think we brought too much stuff. I don't know what you're talking about. This looks perfect. Uh, may, should we just sell things from the boxes? Yeah. Okay, yeah. Just that'll... old school flea market style. Flea market style. Perfect. Okay, that'll work. Also, my mom is helping out, and my stepdad, Phil, oh, Karen, by the way, and Phil is helping out too. So as we're unpacking everything and setting up the tables, we find this, a single puzzle piece from one of our puzzles. Not a good thing. So now, uh, Ed right here and my mom back there and myself are all counting all the pieces in these puzzles. It's actually kind of a cute puzzle. It's this one. They're on snakediscoverystore.com. Not in store, because I know they would get opened and spilled everywhere. So they're... Oh, I think I got it. Did you get it? 119. 119, that's it! Sweet! Here you go, here's the missing piece. Okay, never mind, problem solved. All right, it is Saturday at 8.45, so we have just over an hour before the show opens to the public. We managed to find room for all of our stuff on the tables. We already have some superheroes here, this is fantastic. We have adoption animals here, which, should we show what we brought for adoptions? Can. Let's do that. All right, we brought actually a good variety of animals. We have a couple ball pythons. We have a corn snake named Claire de Lune. We have a variety of leopard geckos. Actually, this one already got adopted this yeah, morning. Yeah, so did this one, which was a boa. That was the boa, Whiskey. Yep, he got adopted. Yeah. We still have a corn snake here. We have a, a Leo here, a nice corn snake, a beautiful milk snake named Raja. And we had a king snake, a hypo California yep, king he in here. Already he too. already got adopted yesterday during VIP hours. So we were able to move in another leopard gecko named Master for adoption. He is actually in a different video and I just realized we brought that white rescued leopard gecko that was really skinny and now he's all healthy again. Yep. He's behind the table. We can put him in here now and oh, find yeah. him a good home. Yep. We also brought a variety of bearded dragons. 16 exact uh, bearded dragons that all need homes and they are past quarantine. They're doing really well for us so hopefully we can find a lot of bearded dragons new homes today. But now we have, yeah, like I said, just over an hour to explore the show a little bit before it opens and see what vendors are here. I'm here with Eric from EDR and I have what is quite possibly the prettiest snake at the Schomburg show, which surprisingly, you know, is a ball python. You know, I'm more of a colubrid person myself, but this particular snake has won over my heart. So we, we, we had to meet it and we had to meet you. So I appreciate you coming by. <laughs> Eric, what, what morph is this? That is a, a blackhead cypress coral glow yellow belly ball python. Oh gosh, I love the speckling and the like purplish hue to it. It's beautiful. And what do you yeah. have? This here is an orange dream cypress black pastel cinnamon yellow belly. Oh my um, gosh. And cypress seems to be one of my most favorite morphs to work with now. What does I actually don't know what the cypress morph does, honestly. Can you explain what it is? It actually does? enhances color and okay. it actually cleans pattern. Oh, so it's a good like combo morph or it's good to combine with other morphs, would you say? Yeah, it's a fantastic uh, uh, gene to put in with other other combos. A gene enhancer, I think that would Absolutely. be called? Absolutely. Okay, I'm not too familiar with ball python morphs, <laughs> like I said, but we're learning, we're learning. Yeah. <laughs> so what morphs do you specialize in? I do, um, you know, specialize in clowns, cypress, but all ball pythons. Do you have a favorite snake on the table? Probably my favorite snake is this one here. Oh, it's, really? the, it's the brightest, um, and with cypress, as you can see under the light, this thing glows and you can see every little color shade in here you can see oranges and yellows and violets and lavenders and so that's that's why i like cypress so much i i can see why so eric remind me what is the difference between these two snakes then as you can see black black pastel the saddles all connect through here and that's what kind of black pastel does in a lot of different combos oh blackhead adds a different shade of lavender as you see it's darker yeah but the saddles are all individual so that's how you can tell there's blackhead in with cypress. 
Interesting. I did not know that. So black pastel, you said? Yes. Combines the saddles? That is correct. Okay, yeah. okay. Oh my gosh, that's really cool. Awesome. So if people want to learn more about your business and what you breed, where can they go? They can go on, I have Instagram and I have Facebook and it's just Exotic Design Reptiles. Uh, I also do have a website, that's ExoticDesignReptiles.com. Awesome. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you for coming by. I'm here with Laura from Smugbug, who we have known for, I don't know, several years? Yeah. But we've never actually done anything together. So, no. perfect opportunity. Laura works with isopods. Uh, we work with all captive bred isopods, so everything we offer is animals we have been able to produce ourselves. Do you have a favorite species of isopod yourself? Right now it's the Bolivara. I'm kind of obsessed with them. Ooh, why, do you, <laughs> why are those your favorite? They are those Spanish giants. They get like over close to an inch and a half in length, and they're this vivid yellow. That's how they naturally appear in wild type scenarios. That is awesome. I didn't realize they got that big. Yeah. That's insane. Yeah. Is that the biggest type of captive bred ice pod you can keep? Uh, that is, yeah, the Spanish giants are the largest, the Magnificent Hoffman's that guy get a little bit bigger. Okay, so now I have to ask, I know there's like a lot of talk about if you have a bioactive snake enclosure, because we get asked this all, all the time. There's concern that if you put isopods with the snakes, that the isopods will go after the snakes. Uh, can you talk about that? Is that true? It's not, Well, if an animal is inappropriate husbandry and they have uh, skin that is rotting or slowing or they're in, unhealthy, the okay. isopods will seize that opportunity. Because they but just it, eat decaying matter. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Because they think it's dead. But in perfectly healthy animals, yeah. isopods, their mouth parts are not strong enough to hurt an animal. Okay. So that's okay. a little bit of a misconception there. So as long as the snake is healthy and mm -hmm. taken care of properly, there is no risk. <laughs> so what else do you work with other than isopods? I also have a new Caledonian species. I have a bunch of geckos, um, gargoyle geckos, coarse crested geckos, uh, chihuahua. We have Saracenora, but we didn't bring any today. I have to point out this guy. Yeah. I love this t uh, this mark on the. I'm gonna cover up part of the word because like we have a PG channel. Fill in the blanks. Yeah, you can fill in the <laughs> blank. <laughs> I love this <laughs> so much. And so he's I, your most friendly gecko, right? Yes. Oh, look at that face. He wouldn't do yeah. anything. You can still see the bite marks from almost a week ago. <laughs> well, I hope for your your case uh, that he finds a home today. Yes. So if people want to learn more about Smugbug, where can they go? Uh, they can go to smug-bug.com. We have a pretty extensive blog. I respond to all emails and inquiries. And we also have social media, TikTok, Instagram, Facebook. <laughs> oh, everything. So you, they can find you just about anywhere. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Cool. Well, thank you so much for your time. I hope thank you have you. a good show. You too. All right, it is five minutes to 10, which means it is time to become a superhero for our meet and greet. I am now superhero Emily. Look, my boots came in in time for the show. I was a little nervous, but they're here. And so as you all know, we do a meet and greet event at these shows. And just to make it extra fun, we do a dress theme. And this show's dress theme is, as you can see, superheroes. And the first 100 people to find us in line, also dressed as a superhero, get this limited edition Super Green Tree Python pin. Nice. Yeah, so we have 100 of these with us today. They probably won't last very long. I just no. learned my superhero costume has thumb holes. Nice. Oh, this is even better. Look at that. Does, she, does Captain America, Captain Marvel have a cape? I don't think she has a cape. No capes. No capes. No capes. All right. All right. It's 10 o'clock. 10 o'clock, which means our meet and greet superhero theme has a turn. Our line is over there. Yeah, the line is like way down the hall. Quit everywhere. dropping the pin. All right, okay. actually. There's one more. I need two anyway. Our first two superheroes in line are Mallory and Jackson. You're the first ones to get the superhero pin. Oh, no. And you adopted from us too. Who did you adopt? Don't go home. <laughs> don't, yeah, it's, that was don't me. Go home. Don't no, have to don't go have home. The leopard gecko Aww. found a home with Mallory today. Oh my gosh, she didn't have to bring me I something. Got lunch. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Wait, do you live in Texas? No. Yeah. We just came from North Carolina, so we traveled down, so they had a bunch of things in the seat, so oh we stopped there on our way home a couple days ago. All of my favorites! Oh, this is really nice to be boys! Yeah, we have lunch now. Alright, this is Anna, one of our adoptable leopard geckos, 
and she just got adopted by Harper, aka Super Gecko. Can you show off your cape? Super nice. Gecko! Oh my gosh, she looks just like the Gecko. This was meant to be. Oh my gosh, are you gonna keep her name Anna, you think? Or yeah. You are? Oh my gosh, this is great. Well, thank you for adopting her. Here you go. Here's your new leopard gecko. This is your first leopard gecko, right? Yeah. Congratulations. Oh, look, she wants to explore. Here, we'll crawl it. I'm gonna go back to mama. Yeah, she knows who her mom is already. Aw, thank you for adopting her. Okay. Okay, meet and greet is going great. We've got the superhero theme, and Linny here is dressed up as, what was it? Gecko Girl! Gecko Girl! Can you show off that cape again? Gecko Girl! I love Gecko it! Girl. Thank you, Linny, for dressing up. <laughs> so, Gecko Girl, what kind of snake would you get at the show if you could get any? I like to get a hog. A hog nose? Definitely. Nice, that's my favorite too. Yeah. Good choice. Okay, we also have Axel and Leo here who are dressed up, and Dad is is Thor. Oh my gosh, you're all here. This is this is fantastic. <laughs> All right, day one is done. It was so much fun. We adopted almost all of our animals, not the bearded dragons, but hopefully those There's guys find homes. One leopard gecko and one corn snake. And one ball python left. One ball python, and, I and then think a bunch of beardies. Eight-ish bearded dragons still, but awesome first day. It was fantastic. Great turnout for the superhero theme meet and greet, and the passports went over really well. And now I kind of want to do a passport of my own after seeing how much fun everybody else had filling them in with stamps. But what we're going to do now is go to the auction, the traditional U.S. Ark benefit auction, where everything donated was given by vendors or the public, and all the proceeds go to U.S. Ark. So let's go. I need 63.91. 63.91. <laughs> 6391 going twice. Sold 6230. Oh, wait, no, Desmond. 6391 to Desiree. Desiree. You're holding up the auction a little bit here, Desiree. I give up. Sold 6804 to Todd Goodman. <laughs> All right, so it's day two. What'd you get from the auction last night? We got the belt, the U.S. You Art belt. That's the belt. Yes, it fits perfectly. Yeah. Look at that. Not, it's not too big for you at all. <laughs> this is awesome. I love it so much. Okay, so this is an ongoing prize, I guess, or belt at the auctions at these shows, and whoever wins it gets to keep it for the day at their booth, and their name gets added to the belt itself. So by the next show, Snake Discovery will be right here under the Schomburg show. Yep. So it's ours yep. for, for today. For today. <laughs> you get to see it. Yes. However, I really want to fill out a passport now because everybody else was doing it yesterday, and it looked like a lot of fun. So <laughs> we're going to have to like... I think, I think Timberline has a... Uh, uh, stand for that so we can show it off at our booth. Oh, yeah, perfect. Okay, so this will be at our booth all day We're gonna set this up and then let's go fill out passports of our own. Yeah, okay So this brand new activity is the NARBC passport that we launched at this show and about 150 people have done it so far And they've been having so much fun now We're gonna do it ourselves So how it works is you buy the passport for five dollars and then on the inside It was released on Friday the list of all of the participating vendors each one of these vendors Vendors donated to US Arc, and you have to go and collect a special stamp from each one of their tables and collect them on these stamp pages. And once you get all 10 stamps, you go back to the US Arc booth and collect a prize. So let's let's get our stamps. Okay, last one. We need the tenth stamp. It's best dress balls. Yes! Nice! We have them all! Okay, now we have to go to US Arc to get our prize. US Arc booth. Yep, US Arc booth. We got we got all the stamps. Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna prove it. Got, got two, four, six, eight, and ten. Yes! And you get the US Arc bonus nice. stamp. Awesome. Good job! And you get your pin! We did it! We got Good the job. pin! Yep. Didn't we come down with all those pins? Well, now we earned it. We earned one. <laughs> right. Got it! 
Yes. Now that you got it all done, you can get the snake discovery stamp too. Oh my gosh, the bonus stamp. Yes, do it. Awesome, bonus stamp. Snake discovery. Sweet, and also, look at that. Yeah, they got the boot, they got it all set up. Yeah, the um, Todd with Timberline actually brought the official stand for it, so it gets to be shown off at our yeah. table all day. That is awesome. which means it is the end of the day Sunday and we found homes for almost all of the animals that we Those brought. are the only two we have, the, those two and the Argentine. Yeah, we have one Argentine that was for sale and we brought three though, so yeah, two of those Yeah, two found of those homes. found homes. And for the adoptions, we have only two bearded dragons, Hamlet and Mike left yep. over. That is it. Out of the 16 beardies we brought? We found homes for 14 bearded dragons at the show. This was... And a corn snake, a milk snake, a king snake, pythons, two ball pythons. Uh, a, bo a boa constrictor. A bunch of leos. Tons of leopard, like I think we brought 10 leopard geckos yeah. in total. I Sweet. thought we were going to bring 20, but it turns out we didn't have that many available. Nope. But still, we brought a lot of leopard geckos. Yeah, there, it was an awesome day. We're going to pack up. And yeah. we bought a couple things too. Yeah. So when we're done packing up our mess here, yep. we show you what we got. Okay, I don't know how we did it, but we fit almost, almost everything in the van. What's weird though is we sold a lot of stuff at the show and, and we didn't buy much, but... Yeah, how did we not... Because we had to send we, stuff home with your mom and dad. We couldn't fit it all in the van, so I don't know how physics works if you, you know, sell things, but then you have more things in the end. We also got rid of boxes. Yeah, I have no idea what happened, but I do want to thank the fan who sent us these? Don't know who it was. Did they just drop it off throughout the day? Yeah, yeah there's a whole variety they of these. They were the ones who got us the Polish candy last time. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay, well, I'm gonna try, I guess. Oh, I probably shouldn't shake it. <laughs> I'm gonna try this one. Oops. Uh -huh. Super carbonated. Okay, we're good. Is this Polish soda? Uh, maybe. I don't know, you have a currant flavor and I have mango. Oh, it's really good. That's really mango-y, I love it. Ooh. Thank you. Okay, I'll try mine. My okay. black currant. Black currant flavored soda. Is it good? What was that taste for? That's a weird. Here, try this. Okay. It kind of tastes like spaghetti. Oh my god, it's, it tastes like spaghetti. Yeah, that's weird. It's the next day. It's the next day. It's Monday. We did We're the so show. Tired. We are exhausted, <laughs> but it was so much fun. Like what an awesome show Schomburg was. And you guys are way too nice. We just enjoy meeting you during the meet and greet events, but you don't have to give us things. <laughs> You're way too nice, guys. I mean, look at this awesome art that some of you made. There's this, these are tricolor hog noses. Here's Rex at the pet store. Here's another cute Rex holding her tail. Is and that a Rex or is that Le Oh yeah, it's totally Rex. Yeah, it yeah. It looks like a leechy. It kind of does, it's like super if you cute. you Rex with a leechy. Yeah, it does. And uh, look at this sweet bookmark from Wyvern Caverns. It's awesome, a cute little hog nose. Uh, we were given some inspiration to get back into jumping spiders again since we haven't had one for a little while. Here's the creator. Quick shout out to a small business, by the way, and you are going to love what's in here. They're magnetic jumping spider hides. So like, these attach to the side of the enclosure and they're purposely hollow so that a jumping spider can make a little home in there. That's Super cool. cute. There's like a mushroom, there's branches, there's a cool skull decor. So she gave us this in hopes that we get another jumping spider. Man, so that looks so Maple Story-esque. It does, yeah. Wow. So we might have to get another jumping spider now. That's awesome. Tons of candy, guys. Yeah. You, you're providing our road trip snacks. Yeah, this will not make it out of the hotel room and we're leaving in 15 minutes, so. Yeah, well, there was a lot more and that became my <laughs> breakfast every morning. So that's how I get my energy and uh, to do meet and greets is all the sugar you provide me. It's awesome. Sugar and caffeine. Yes, yes this giant egg. There's uh, other goodies too. Like this, I thought was a really cool idea. Sharpies Ooh. that are double sided for marking our eggs. Uh, cool. Yeah, Ed hasn't seen these yet. They're like pastel -y too. Yeah, they're really pretty colors and some hides and just cute You get some glasses that light up, it looks like. Yeah, I actually haven't tried these yet. Okay, ready? <laughs> yeah. Do I look cool? Okay, let me, let me, let me do something really fast because you can't see. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> There I look go. cool, don't I? Yes, you do. <laughs> There's a sharp thing right here, though. I can't rest it on my nose. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, right, we'll turn the lights back on, I guess. <laughs> okay, and for the animals that we got, 
We didn't really get a whole lot for ourselves. We no. did get one animal for the zoo, but we got a lot of stuff just for, re oh, no, a couple animals for the zoo. Yes. Uh, first, we got mantises for the zoo because the one that we had on display, you know, passed away. They don't live forever. This is a zebra mantis. Oh, okay. Looks awesome. So we're gonna put this guy on display or he'll be the backup for this huge twig mantis. Now this guy is an adult because he has those full wings. So I think his time is now limited since he is, you know, they don't live very long. So I might put him on display first. Well, he did just shed. He did. Yeah. 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 So yeah. we might have a few months out of him yeah. still. We should anyway. So we're going to put him on display. You'll get to see him in our zoo. And then when he, you know, ultimately passes away, we'll put the zebra mantis out. Yep. We also got one more animal for the zoo, but we are going to save her until the end. So first, here are a bunch of frogs we got for our store. <laughs> here are a bunch of frogs. Bunch of frogs. Got some uh, strawberry Pac-Mans. We got some Pikachu Pac-Mans. We got some masked frogs. These are all from Josh's frogs. We, we love buying from them. This is all, you know, wholesale to be rehomed in our store. So if you're looking for frogs, anybody, reach out to us. We've yeah. got these little triangle tree frogs. We got some albino uh, Pac-Mans as well, didn't we? We did, yes. The, oh, wait. Oh, wait that's, that's the albino. This that's is, the Pikachu. That's one. the Pikachu. Yeah. We also got, for the first time, some Solomon Island leaf frogs. So these, uh, we haven't carried them before, so I'm curious to see if people will be interested in them. Oh my god, you're adorable. Hello! Oh no, 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 we're not jumping all over the bed. Sorry, I just wanted to show you off. You are so. Like, I can do it! You are so cute. Okay, but stay in the moss. These we might add to our zoo as well. We have yeah. one open frog enclosure in the zoo, so these might make the cut. And last but not least for frogs, we got a bunch of pixie frogs. Yes, we haven't had pixie frogs in a while at the zoo or at the store, and somebody was asking for them the other yep. day. So. Yep, so we picked them up. Yeah. Uh, oh, and we have also a ball python, that just a singular ball python to yep. add to our store. It is a banana super NG hypo. Yeah, it was a... Uh, uh, an auction pickup because no one was bidding on him so i was like yeah, sure we'll, take I'll, him. <laughs> we'll buy him for like 200 bucks i guess right so yeah fun. oh and then uh i keep finding more stuff we also i know luke said not to give him a shout out because we've done it so many times in the past but too bad luke i'm giving you a shout out <laughs> again anyway luke's bug adventures gave us a lot of uh, ghost mantises and spiny flower mantises for our store so that we could sell them and then the proceeds will go to our adoption animals so thank you luke so that covers i believe Everything All the animals? Except for the last one. Aww. This is our new addition for the zoo. It is a red Aki monitor. Also and a really tight enclosure. Oh my gosh, yeah it is. Okay. <laughs> there you go. There we go. She's not getting out, let's put it that way. Hi cutie, how friendly are you? She's I... really friendly. Okay. Yeah, here she is. So the reason why we got this girl is because our female red Aki monitor in the zoo suddenly became egg bound and passed away. It was really sad, got a necropsy to confirm it and sure enough she was egg bound. So now we just have two males in the zoo because the second female we bought ended up being a male. So yeah. it didn't really work out when we bought that female at another show because it was a boy. But that's okay, we have a girl now, a nice big beefy girl and hopefully she will provide some nice babies for us. Yeah. Yeah, she's already been, she's already laid eggs, I guess. They yes. were all infertile. Yes, but she got them all out successfully, yep. so hopefully we can breed her in yeah. the future. But yeah, I think that's everything, right? I think so. I'm pretty sure. So yeah, thank you everybody who came to the Schomburg show, whether you were in costume as superheroes or whether you just wanted to say hi to us. We loved meeting all of you. And thank you to everybody who participated in the passport too. That went over really well and we will absolutely be doing the passports at at least the rest of the NARBCs for this year. Thank you guys for watching. Let us know what your favorite animal pickup from the show is, whether is it, it be this one, a Pikachu Pac-Man, this one. <laughs> <laughs> or this one down here or, or this big Aki. girl right here <laughs> or these four there's a bunch bunch of choices yeah thank you patreon backers as well for your amazing support and we'll see you next time Aki face <laughs>